Hey brother! Ben, today I'm going to talk about 12 things you will probably do this winter. You will definitely either love all of the holiday music playing on all the radio stations, or you will hate it and complain about it vocally and often. I just feel like it comes on a week earlier every year and it's not even Thanksgiving yet. You will probably enjoy some kind of peppermint flavored treat. Peppermint mocha latte comes to mind. And you will say this sentence. Why don't we have this all year round? Probably because you wouldn't actually eat it, but if you're really craving it, you can always turn to the York peppermint patty or the junior mint. Who's gonna turn down a junior mint? It's chocolate, it's peppermint. It's very refreshing. Name that show. You will definitely complain about how early it's getting dark and how much productivity you're losing. Conversely, you will also have several days of full sunlight where you don't even leave the house and stay in your pajamas and watch TV all day because it's too cold outside and you deserve a break. You will forget to buy a shovel. Again. Come on, man. It snowed last year, you waited until after the fact, and you went out and bought a cheap one, and now it snowed again. Where's the one from last year? Who knows? But it's definitely gone, and here you are shovelless. Again. Someone is absolutely going to make you go see them perform in their holiday production of whatever. It will probably involve some kind of high school trumpet player standing out in the cold at their nativity, middle school ballerinas or very uncomfortable church pews, and afterwards they will absolutely tell you how much they love performing but fail to get involved in any other kind of performance until this exact event next year, which you still have to go to. You will ask yourself, how on earth is everyone else affording to go on this ski trip? The lip tickets alone are $70. And that doesn't count like food or gas or lodging or rentals. They don't even have jobs. You will have this conversation with your grandparents. Grandma, do you know what the Wi-Fi code is? The what? Sorry, the internet password. When? Jonathan needs to get on the internet. Yeah, it's no big deal. I'll just look it up on my You should call your cousin Michael. He's very good with computers. He's the one who set it up for us. Just trying to get some movie times. I can look it up on my phone, though. Oh, how do you look that up? I use ask.com. Of course, it could all just be a ploy to get you to play Scrabble with them, which you will probably do, and you will probably lose. Horrifically. Unless you're me, I've got a 15 game win streak going on. I don't know what you're thinking. Gosh, can't you even let your grandma win at Scrabble? This is more than just Scrabble. This is a war zone. My grandma has no problem playing words like quiz with the Q and the Z on the triple word and waiting till late game. She's strategic and I will not be taken down. If you're an adult, the child inside you will anxiously await the first snow of the season until it snows and you're 30 minutes late to work because you forgot that shovel. Speaking of losing things, you will only be able to find one glove from last year, and we'll have to ask for another pair again for Christmas. Seriously, where do they go? And finally, you will turn your car on way in advance to warm it up and avoid being cold for even a couple of minutes. That's it for me, Ben. My question for you and everybody else is, what are some other winter stereotypes? Let me know down in the towel section below, and I will see you in another life, brother. Conversely, you will also have several days of full sunlight where you won't even get out of your pajamas. Wow, that was horrible.